this segment we are going to go over some of the very basic functions which most likely you know how to do already in Microsoft Word. We are going to simply create a basic document, do some very basic formatting, and then save it. And then also we're going to learn how to use a template instead of reinventing the wheel. So we go here under Start, and then we can open Word from the recently used applications, or simply type Word here, open it up. At this point, I'm going to first create a new blank document. So we simply start typing. Remember the functions on, on the menus here and the, uh, on the Office ribbon. So we simply start, start typing. And then Typically, as you are typing and the, the cursor or the words reach the end of the line here, uh, of course, the content will move on to the next line automatically. This is very basic, but I needed to kind of mention it just for the, uh, ver those that are very new to Microsoft Word. Now, additionally here, you can add various items such as uh, bulleted lists, numbered lists, and format things a certain way. So now that we created some text in this document, we can format this and work on this. So let's pretend this is our document. At this point here, we can make this, uh, let's say, bold, make this bold and change the font type. Let's say we want to change the font size. Now notice as you're changing the font size, you have these two icons in here as well to increase the indentation and decrease it as well. You can also have other options such as uppercase and lowercase. So we are basically selecting the text first, and then you're making these modifications to that uh, selected text. Now, besides using these functions here under the font, you can, obviously you can go and change the color once you select it as well, if you wanted to. Additionally, let's say that down here in these list of items, we want them to use bulleted lists. So you can simply click on this section here under bullets, and you have the bulleted list. If you click on the drop-down, you can select different types of bullets if you prefer. Or you can choose numbers. Or if you wanted various lists, such as um, you have multiple layers for specific lists, you can utilize one of those options from the lists option. Now, as far as formatting the text here, once you select it, you can have this centered by using those buttons right here, or indented to the right, or typically as it is the standard to the left. Now, for any of this text, once you select it, you can also change the spacing. So let's say I wanted this double spaced. One of the options here is to use line spacing and change it to double spaced from here. So for those that are college students and you need to do double spaced papers, you change it directly using this function right here. If you needed to undo a function, a specific function, you can either use the undo option from up here on the quick access toolbar, or you could press Control Z on the keyboard and that will undo the last function that you performed. Now at this point, let's assume this is our whole document. Of course, stay tuned for the additional modules for this tutorial on the enhanced editing and formatting and creating a report and things of that nature that we'll cover shortly in the tutorial. But for now, let's assume that we are done with this document and we want to save it. You can press Save up here on the Quick Access Toolbar, where you can click on File and choose Save. Now, at this stage, we are prompted to save this 
And by default, it will ask us to save it, or it will try to, uh, to get us to save it on OneDrive. So if we go back and press Save here, notice it's trying to save it to OneDrive. But um, you can either click File, Save, and choose this PC, and then save it wherever you want to save it in this PC, for example, in My Documents, where I can go here under Browse, and then go and browse for my documents under documents here and they say using Office 365 and then give it a name. Now saving it on OneDrive it's advantageous because in case something happens to your computer you can recover this file by simply accessing the file on OneDrive. So that's how you save the document on your computer, how you create a document and how you save it on your computer. I recommend that you save your document unless you have the auto saved enabled autom uh, automatically that you save your document every two to three minutes by pressing simply pressing control s on your keyboard now before i finalize this uh, segment one other thing if you go here instead of you creating a document from scratch all the time you can also go here under File and New, and that will bring you to a similar screen like what we had seen earlier, and use one of the templates. So let's say I wanted to create a brochure. Uh, by the way, notice there are all kinds of templates here automatically. But let's say I wanted a brochure. You simply search for it and uh, simply go and download one that you prefer from online. Double click on it press create and then Word will download this and now here you can simply modify key components of this brochure add and change various headings and so on but you basically have the complete layout of the document and you don't have to spend a lot of time on the design you can simply use a template that already exists in the computer you can do this for resumes, reports, or brochures, or all kinds of other stuff. So uh, this is a quick tip on before you proceeding with the other functions of Word in this tutorial. And I hope that you'll find it helpful.